we're going to diagnose all the systems. Uh, we're going to have the scanner uh, go pull the VIN number, determine the make and model, and then scan for this make, scan all the modules there are installed in it, and then tell us if there is any fault codes in any of them. Then we can uh, look at those codes, see which ones are current, which ones can be cleared. Uh, so, and then we're going to look at some of the key modules like the ABS engine and transmission. So, uh, let's do an auto scan, and you want to make sure the ignition is turned on, but you don't need to start the car. But do keep in mind that if you were going to uh, diagnose for a long time, over you know 10, 15 minutes, you might want to connect the charger to the battery. Uh, so we'll go auto scan VIN here, and this should pull the VIN number from the vehicle. So what you do is come here to quick scan and press OK. And what this will do is it's going to go through all the modules that this make could possibly have, and then we'll scan any of all of them, and it will tell you if there's codes, if there's no codes. If a module is not installed on this car, then it'll just skip it. So you're not going through modules that the car doesn't even have. So here it's going through all different uh, modules. Now it's going through airbag. So you can see here it's scanning for 4 out of 59. Um, it's not going to have 59, but this model could possibly have 59 modules. Um, so it's only going to show the ones that are installed here. And you can see there the tire pressure monitor has one fault. So far the other ones have no faults at all. Um, but this, this process takes a few minutes. And then you can scroll and go to that particular module that has a fault. You can read that code a lot of times you'll notice that one code it might be stored in multiple systems so for example let's take a bad abs uh, wheel speed sensor you'll have a fault code for that um you'll have that um, in the abs module but if that code also triggered let's say it caused the car to go into a limp mode not usually but it can happen then you'll see that there is a fault code in the transmission module that also points to the ABS sensor. So a lot of times some of these codes that might be the same issue might have triggered different codes um, and, and usually if you read the codes you can see that they're all pointing to the same faulty part. Here we're finding more uh, fault codes here. This uh, driver SAM module um, has six six fault codes and it's only at 16 out of 59 so we're gonna have to speed this up a little bit. So here uh, the scanning is done and in this case it did take a few minutes but what you can see here is you can see that there's codes, full codes in a few different modules and you can scroll through all of them and then if you see one that has full codes you can review those codes but what if you press OK it will take you to that module where you can read the codes. Now if the codes are stored as we said earlier then you can clear them but if any of them show current status then you cannot clear them because you have to fix that problem before you can go ahead and clear them now um sometimes it's um it's helpful to leave the codes there if um you have a problem that you're start trying to diagnose uh, and if you're going to take the car somewhere else leave those codes there so they can look at those codes and then they can um you know get a better understanding of what's going on with your cars because once you clear them then nobody will be able to know what has happened to the car in the past what issues here we can see all these codes are stored. Um, you can come down here, press OK, and it will clear the codes in this module. So codes are cleared in this module. But let's go back now. I'm exiting this module. Pass, and then what we're going to do is this is the list of all the modules and all the faults there are. We're going to press F1. And are you sure you want to clear? We're going to press F3. So right here, when you do F1, you press F1, this is going through all these modules that have fault codes, and it's trying to clear the codes. It's going to clear the codes that have a stored status, means issues that happened in the past, codes that are shown as current or stored and current. Those are issues that still need to be addressed. So those, even if it clears them, you're going to start the car drive for a few minutes and these usually come back on. If not right away, within a few driving cycles, those fault codes are current status, they typically come back. Um, but uh, this is going through all of them and it's trying to clear all the codes. Now, do not clear the codes if you have issues. If you want to 
a diagnosing problem and you have an issue that you still haven't figured out or a current code because those other codes can help you pinpoint or your mechanic pinpoint that issue um, that the car might have that can be very helpful so do not clear the codes there's no point in clearing the codes without you fixing the problem to a module, like if you want to go to the ABS module or the engine or transmission models you can come directly to one of them okay so here we're going to the transmission module So here we can read codes, view code, uh, view them, clear them, and view live sensor data. So let's see, read codes, okay. And there's no codes in the transmission module. If there were to any, you can fix the problem, or if there are stored codes, you can come back and clear them as well. Okay, so what you can do also, you go to live data. And then here you can do oil level check, speeds, transmission, gear change. And you can see like different, um, Things that you can do, check the start operation, you can check, uh, move the shifter and see the gear position, different things like that. So you might have to start the car here to, um, to see these values. So you can see, for example, actual gear park. Now we go neutral, you can see how it switches to reverse and drive and um, you can see transmission oil temperature right there. And as you can see, there were other things that you can, other data that you can pull from the transmission right there. So let's go back. And um, this is the motor electronics, that's the engine control module. You can go in there. And then we can read codes from this module as well. And then you can see all the codes here. Now, you can see that all these codes are stored. Uh, but this one right here is stored anchor and power output limitation is excessive engine coolant temperature. So those are all stored, but all stored with exception of one that's stored in current. So um, what you can do, you can go back. Once you fix the problem, you got to fix that one that's current because that will come back up. Uh, but once you do that, you can come here, press clear codes, and they'll erase the codes. You can also do live data, and that will pull sensor data from the um, engine control module. And you can see here, you can also see drive authorization. That's important. Like, you know, if your car is not starting, you can see if the key is being recognized and the brake pedal is pressed and different things like that.